Chris, many congratulations. A, a wonderful performance. Your, your career best in T20. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, it was a, a great occasion being here, playing at Lords, and there was a fair amount in as well to watch it. So, yeah, it was a good game. And what an over to get to a few of your wickets in, the penultimate over of the game. It was all very tight. That over pretty much did it for you. Yeah, I mean, it worked out well. The slow balls came out well, and I was lucky to get away with a, a couple of catches on some other occasions. They might land in between fielders and stuff like that, but fortunately, it went my, my way today. What does it mean to a cricketer to get a Fifer at Lords in any competition? Oh, it's a, you know, you come here in the morning hoping and praying that you'd, you'd take wickets and get Fifer and stuff. And yeah, it worked in my favour today. And oh, yeah, over the moon. Five for 17, a little bit of a skip and a jump when you got your fifth wicket. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, everyone was on the boundary, so I was sort of on my own to celebrate, really. So I was shouting, someone come join me. So, yeah, no, it was good. Good fun. Uh, great to kick start this competition for Sussex as well after the, the, the weather has been so bad recently, losing a couple of games. Yeah, well, that's it. We've been really frustrated. Our last two games have been uh, rained out. And we haven't been able to bowl a ball or do anything, really, because the... We haven't been out getting the nets in practice, but fortunately, you know, we were raring to go here and we put on a performance with, uh, with everything. You've been missing from finals days recently, but your one-day form is so good, you'd expect Sussex to be there. One of the favourites, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, we've got a good squad and we've had a good squad in the, in the past as well. We just, um, things haven't gone our way right at the end, so hopefully we can put a good run together and, and make it this time. What does it mean to a player these days to make it to finals day and even get onto the Champions League? Oh, everything. I mean, last time Sussex um, made the Champions League, unfortunately I was out injured and didn't get to go and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely round to, to go and get there. So hopefully we can we can make a run for it. Why are so Sussex, uh, Sussex so good at, uh, at one-day cricket, 40 over and 20 over? Um, I don't know, really. We've got a, we've got a good way of, of playing. We understand how, how people play and what people what positions you need to be in and stuff like that. And I think we just work, work well together as a team and it, it, it shows out there. Middlesex up again next Friday. You, you know how to beat them? Well, I wouldn't say it's 2020, so anything can happen, really. We've just got to prepare well and hopefully come Friday we'll be on our, on, on our way game and put in another good result. Have you, how frustrating is it for you that you only seem to ever play in, in one-day cricket? Uh, well, not really. As long as I'm playing, I'm, I'm happy. Obviously, I, I'd love to play championship cricket, but what I've been given is an opportunity to play one-day cricket, so I'm, I'm happy to do that. I enjoy doing it, and you know, I, I enjoy being out there playing cricket, so I'm happy. And if you keep taking five wickets in every game, then uh, I guess you're pushing <laughs> for a place in all, in all forms. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, all you can do is go out there and, and try your best, and hopefully it comes off. And Yeah, it did today, and hopefully next game it will as well. Well, very well done. Five for 17 at Lords. You'll never forget it, will you? No, definitely not. Thanks very much.